Hi guys, welcome again to the second part of this tutorial about modeling a floor plan in 3D. So, after drawing the outlines of the windows and the doors, we will need to make holes in the walls, this is what will be the final result, to later insert the proper objects there. First, I'm going to change my visual style in order to have a better 3D perception. I click in the tab here which says Visualize, then on Visual Styles I click on 2D Wireframe and I will change it to X-Ray for example. As you can see, I can have now a better perception of the objects. Let's start drawing. I go to the Home tab and click in the command Press Pull. With this, I can make a hole for this window located in this side. And how should I proceed? I'm going to click on the window, and when I see it highlighted, it's the moment to click. Now, if I push the rectangle in a direction against the wall, the distance that I type here will subtract from the wall thickness. So if I type 300 to equal that wall thickness, it will make an empty space here. Then, I can do the same for all the windows and the doors, now that you understood how it works. But first, I should tell you an important tip. To avoid your computer getting slow during this process, you can temporarily freeze all the layers that you don't need at the moment. I am going to activate now press pull again, press enter, now I am going to this door, I push it inside and type again 300 to match the wall thickness. Then the same for the window and I keep doing this until I finish all of them. After, I have to do the same but for the internal walls, which means I am going to unfreeze the layer 3D int wall. And meanwhile, I can freeze this one as I don't need it, so it is going to be easier to draw the doors there. First, I'm going to draw the outlines in the same way as I did in the part 1 of this tutorial. I use the command rectangle, then to enter the first point, I wait until the plane is highlighted, like now. I can click. For specifying the width, I can hover the end point at the other extremity of the door, and then just enter the door height. So I am going to skip this process, as I have already explained it in the part 1. Ok. When they are all finished, I can use again the command press pull. I go, for example, to this door, click there, push it inside, and this time I type 150 because it's the thickness of this wall. You see, it's so simple, so do the same for the remaining ones. Until I finish. Ok, it was everything in this part. Don't forget to subscribe the channel to get full access to all the tutorials. And if you need extra help, I start providing online private lessons for beginners. If you are interested, send me an email to candyblack at gmail.com and I will provide you all the information that you need. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial!